Most people in America are concerned with their health today. The pandemic has brought this to the forefront of the day. And when I talk like this, I am completely speaking about the actual truth of America that all throughout our history we have faced plagues. It is something that is listed for those of you who are religious in the Bible. And openly we do have sort of that sort of Christian revival going on, not at all, but we can literally use that document as a history record and somewhat anthropological, reasonably sound record because it has been verified for, well, all time. But at the same time we have encyclopedias and we have newspaper clippings and we have a microfiche that can go back in time to say that this is true. That all throughout our history of me and you and where we came from in our history and heritage and lineage, that there has been these sicknesses that have plagued the land. And it's usually God cleaning house, if you know what I mean. It's usually the Lord above saying, okay, you're not honoring me, you're not praising me, you're not thanking me, so let's just clean some house and see who's left over. Now the hard part about that is sometimes our biggest stars in religion say such as, and I don't want to list any people because I don't want to out their medical information that I'm hearing and seeing about in my prophetic gifts, but openly there are big name people who are going to die of COVID. We also have famous stars who actually kill their wives and then say it was COVID, and that's not really marvelous, and I don't like to picture the name that's coming to mind on that, but you know, God does that for people like us. But in truth, what I'm talking about is medical rights, and medical rights across America have for the longest time been privacy rights, literally private information. The problem we have today with this new technological age and the advancement of technologies in terms of the doctors who are supposed to help us to cure our bodies of illness and disease and difficulties like broken arms and broken legs and other things that happen as a part of a child's life sometimes if they're sort of precocious and sort of stupid about their decisions and whatnot and just flukes that happen like me when I went to a martial arts shop and I ripped out my ACL and that was not fun for me but the reality is uh, and then of course it's been done to me several times after that by a marvelous law enforcement and their abuse of me but the reality of what I'm talking about is that these pieces of information I might be sharing with you personally but these pieces of information are not automatically in the hands of every single representative of a clinic or hospital that I go to see for something private about me. The problem with the concept that is called continuity of care is how the technology today is being used and completely abused to prevent people who are really consumer rights advocates from going forward and getting second and third and fourth sometimes motherfucking opinions about what kind of illness they have, how they should go about curing it, and how they should go about maintaining and managing it. 